Hey guys, you see I moved things around just a little bit, but I am getting ready right now to go return something at Amazon's drop off or whatever at Whole Foods. And then after that, I might go to this perfumery, see what we're doing on time. And then after that, um, I have to run errands. I gotta get like the duvet, duvet cover, pillow, pillow, whatever. Cause as you can see. Hey you guys. So I am not filming on my camera because oh, this is gonna be a whole story, but for my memory card needs to be reformatted. But I am at the Osme perfumery. Hopefully you guys can see me. I'm hoping you see me well. But I am here, ready to test out all the perfumes and everything. And the owner has been very gracious so far in giving me the password to the internet to try to figure out what was wrong with my camera because my wife, my data was acting up too. Like everything was just going wrong, y'all. I keep on seeing people with this one here. So, oh, this does so nice. Which one would you would you say is like your top seller from these perfumes? Um, I think they're they're all amazing, but the one that captures people's attention first is that one. This one. Mm -hmm. It's very pleasing. It's very mm -hmm. fruity. Um, very well blended. Mm -hmm. um, it has that hint of vanilla, mm -hmm. a touch of tuberose, some lavender, some musk. Mm -hmm. Very very well blended, fruity perfume. Mm -hmm. How long does it last? Is it pretty good? Oh, that one lasts a lot. It lasts long, okay. That one would be under your skin for uh, maybe 15, 16 hours. Mm -hmm. And I saw that you guys carry the Bodice or Bodice? Uh, Bodice and Victorious? Yeah. Yeah, we have, we have a couple of those as well. Okay, where are they? That is, is, these are really two food perfumes. Okay. Would you say this is like the best food ones or um, no? I just heard recently about Roma. I would say it's one of the top, mm -hmm. but really, you know, to be honest with you, most newbies don't really appreciate the heavy boots. Mm -hmm. um, they prefer like lighter, fresher boots. Mm -hmm. um, wood is something like, uh, imagine you have wine, right? You, you start up with Moscato, mm -hmm. and then over time, when your palate is developed, then you kind of move on and you like other types of wine that is not just sweet. Yeah. So most of the people appreciate the foods that are either sweet or fresh. Yeah. And opposed to when it's like a real food. Like for example, whatever you do come over this side, mm -hmm. you probably won't like sour food. Okay. But, but you will love food roads because food roads is like more beginners. Uh-huh. That's all the way next level. Let's go smell the other one she was talking about, the Sara food and the, the sweet one. So smell the light Okay, so the Oud Rose. Yeah. Oh, the Oud Rose. Okay, that gives you, because um, the other one is going to kind of overpower your senses. Mm -hmm. This is lighter, lighter and easier to, to kind of appreciate. Mm, the Oud Rose is nice. Yeah. Let's see the Sara. Oh yeah, this is more advanced probably now. <laughs> Not ready for this one. Right, instead to get. Have you tried um, from one towel? It's an oud perfume, but it is an oud perfume with hints of maybe some vetiver, some caramel, some vanilla. Is it that intense cafe one? No, it's one called Arabian Stump. No, I have not. That amber though is actually really nice. It's it's pretty smooth. Oh yeah. Oh, I actually really like that one, guys. Try this one. Okay. So on the skin. Oh, this smells nice. Oh, this is really nice. Oh yeah. When that opens up, that will. Oh my gosh! I really like this. Ah. So that one is this one here. This one. Okay. 
called Arabian's Tonka. Arabian's Tonka. Can I spray it on my of hand course, to see if it? Yeah. Because I noticed, especially, literally, it's so funny. With this perfume, mm -hmm. it's the, what's it called? The perfume, the Marley, that pink bottle, you guys. Yeah. It smells so good on the paper, but on my body, it does not smell. Mm -mm, no. And one of the Penhaligons. Yeah. I can't remember the name of it. I think it's the Cairo. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful on the paper, but then on my hand, it did not smell good. Oh, this is nice. Oh my goodness. And with, will it stay on? Oh, it does. Because I have an issue with that. The perfumes, they don't stay on unless like I really like dab on the oils and stuff. Like. I think it depends on what brand you actually go for. Some brands are known to last a long time. Well, recently, I mean, I, I changed up my moisture moisturization routine, so mm -hmm. it's been helping with the Baccarat ones. Okay. But the other ones, it's kind of like only a couple hours, and then I'm. So the, the difference is, you see the oils. Yeah. That this has. Mm -hmm. See how oily that is. Yeah. So the oily in the perfume is it's better and the longer it's gonna stay on your skin, mm -hmm. and it actually is gonna go to like a, a bigger change. Mm -hmm. So this one is another perfume with like some saffron and rose and anything else like this like this one here oh my gosh you guys i love this ah the arabian is arabian Tonka. that one is a montau one too so this one is one of, the, one of their latest releases mm -hmm. called dark vanilla okay very spicy very long lasting this one in particular lasts maybe like for me maybe around 12 to 13 hours on my skin oh this is nice this is actually it's pretty nice i was just showing you things that you know with food that are a little bit on the sweet side yeah this is actually nice oh gosh it's gonna be tough this type of dark deep mm. thing i think this is what i'm in the mood for how much is this one that one is one um, one seventy. 170. You said it will last. Okay. Yeah, oh, it will last a long time. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. This is BDK Tabak Rose. Rose. Mm. Oh, this is nice. It's very fresh scent. This is different than what I would have thought that I would I would get, but let me see how it smells on my skin. This actually smell really good. You guys, the BDK Tabaco Rose. I've never heard of this before. Is it a US seller or? Um, no, it's a, it's a French, French brand. How much is this one? <laughs> uh, that one is $2.35. Oh my God, let's see which one I like more between this one and the Arabian. Oh, ooh, y'all, this smells good. Looks like it has a bit of a honey. Is this one a Beast perfume? Like, it is. Man, I'm so confused now. What would I do? It's definitely between the Tabak Rose and the Arabian Arabian Tonka Montal. Technically, I really came for something that smelled more so like the Arabian Tonka, that type of like deep type of smell. But this one also smells really good, and I'm. I don't know why, but I, I feel like I don't know whether this would last more on my skin. I don't know. I'm not too sure, but... So I think the Arabian's Tonka is a little bit more... It's in what we call the um, Oriental style. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a little bit smoother. It's more easier to, to understand. It's not as... And this is a little bit... Um, the tobacco rose mm -hmm. is a little bit outside of... The norm because you get a big blast of tobacco and rose, so yeah. those two things stand up more than anything else in the composition. Mm -hmm. Whereas with the Arabian Tonka, everything is blended almost equal, mm -hmm. so no notes really come out in you know ahead of the another. Other. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a little bit smoother and mm -hmm. it's it maybe be a little bit more wearable, or yeah. easier to wear. But if you're big, bold, and bad then that one might be the one that you should go for because it's going outside of what the norm is. Yeah. And I'm not saying that Arabian Tonka is not 
normal. Normal. Mm -hmm. This one. It smells more unique. I never smelled that like it. Yeah, it steps out outside of the that little box a little bit more. Mm hmm. It does yeah, smell good. I know exactly. That's why I was like, I kind of like because that whole darkness, that oodness. But then again, if I get that perfume that I have in mind, and oh, I really shouldn't be spending money. But if I do end up getting that, I think it would make more sense for me to get something like this because this is a little different. It's not as deep, but Arabian one is, it smells deep and it's cheaper. Save money, I don't know. All right, so he's gonna show us how to make it, you know, it smell on our bodies because I know this is something we all struggle with. Okay, go ahead. All right, so I was explaining to my friend here that when you're putting your perfumes on, these perfumes are so well blended that they don't overwhelm. Mm -hmm. So it's okay for you to put on a little bit more than you would, you know, you would ordinarily do. Mm -hmm. So you would put it on your pulse points first and foremost. So okay. if you're gonna put it on your wrist, you do one, two. Uh huh. One, two. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna put it here, you do one, two. One, two. So you don't need to put it like far or too close. It's like three inches and double tap. Mm -hmm. What that does, it just helps the perfume to lock in on your skin. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why people would get um, overwhelmed with putting on their perfumes was if it's a cheaper perfume, the base that they use for these perfume, I should say that alcohol that they use to make these perfumes are made uh, as cheap alcohol. Mm -hmm. With these, a lot of them are made from, um, from plants, from beets to be exact. So you can put on more perfume and not really feel that you're gonna overwhelm people around you. If these are gonna mesh with your chemistry and mm -hmm. your, your, you know, your, your, your pheromones. So don't feel, don't feel as if you, you, um, you're gonna go overboard by putting on like 10 sprays. Okay. Just as a, you get more compliments, mm -hmm. you get more noticed, mm -hmm. you smell yourself, you enjoy the smell. So just double it up. For me, I put on uh, maybe like 10 to 15 sprays. Okay, um, gotcha. And you never overwhelm because mm -hmm. these are well blended perfumes. So okay. double tap, double tap, and you're good to go. Alrighty, thanks so much. Hey y'all, it's me, I'm back. So long story short, I went to the perfumery, my camera was acting up. I wasn't even able to use the camera. I literally spent minutes just in the corner, embarrassed trying to figure out how to use the camera because I'm just literally in the store not doing anything but except being on my camera and on my phone. And lo and behold, when I finally had access to the Wi-Fi that the owner allowed me to use, it you know, just so happened that I would have to reformat my card, but mind you, I still have footage on that the card. I only took off some of the footage from the card. So I had to just vlog on the phone that I had, that I was using or whatever. And yeah, so that was that footage that y'all saw. Um, but no, he was great, super helpful, great tips, loved it. They have a lot of stuff there. I'm gonna go back again, cause you know, my nostrils are just full, but I ended up getting something. I got this perfume and I'm hesitant to show you guys now but because you watch this vlog you because you watch this vlog you know what I got you I'm gonna show you now but I'll definitely do a review on it y'all this is the Montal Paris I keep on hearing about Montal I've never had anything from them I've tried their fragrance their fragrances before in the store and the one that I was drawn to was sensual instinct but I never smelled this one before this is the Arabians Tonka and I Love it. It smells so good, y'all. It smells, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. It smells good. I really like it. It's now, I'm, it's now time for me to test it out. See how it, you know, it performs. Today, today was, you know, it was doing well after the perfumery, but I, I want to try it out more and then I'll come to you guys with a review. Then I went to the Salt Bay restaurant, the Nooseret Steakhouse or whatever. I think that's what it's called, Nooseret Steakhouse or something. But um, so good, best burger, one of the best burgers I feel like I've ever had. My Beyond Burgers that I make personally, those are amazing, but in terms of a burger that somebody else has made <laughs> that I've tasted, I think this was literally the best burger I've had, honestly. 
and the service was amazing like he was opening up he was pulling out the chair for me to sit down and then when i sat down they literally um he even he asked me whether i wanted to see their cuts and so he took me to the area where they cut the meats and where they cook he showed me the chef he explained everything i'll put in that footage here um, I did it long ways because I do follow me on TikTok at FUNLA.IB. I do kind of restaurant reviews and other type of content, lifestyle type of content. So I was meaning to put that footage on TikTok, but now that I think about it, it was pretty long. So I wish I would have done it the uh, horizontally so that it would be more fit, but I'll insert that footage here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Two reasons. One, uh -huh. because it's domestic wagyu, so mm -hmm. you can take a look at the beautiful marbling. Okay. Gotcha. Charcoal grill, charcoal smoker. Mm -hmm. So what happens with the non-saturated fat mm -hmm. in, the, in the grill is that that marbling turns into flavor and juice. Non-saturated fat just disappears and it just melts into butter. Okay, got it's it. Amazing. Yeah. And the other reason is because some cuts are bigger than others. Mm -hmm. So. If the lady likes to, if she likes to have a good meal, then you know maybe yeah, the bigger <laughs> maybe the twenty-four <laughs> yeah. ounce tomahawk off mm -hmm. the bone yeah. would be something I would suit her. But the other options are fourteen ounce filet mignon, mm -hmm. eleven ounce strip loin. We have smaller cuts, which we consider appetizers. Uh -huh. But you know it's a concern as well as depending on depending on how, what how much I want to eat today. Correct. Yeah, correct. We have strip loin. Okay, it's seven ounces. We can mm -hmm. do an We can do. One and a half portions, mm -hmm. so we can do 10 ounces. Our chef right here mm -hmm. is the one that prepared all these lovely dishes right here. For, gotcha, uh, gotcha. For, for, for the lady mm -hmm. tonight. The best cut of the house, Amor. L'Amour, you said? Amor, yes. Amor. Amor is the rib cap, so it's right okay. above the eye, and it's cut from here to here. Mm -hmm. It's a cut that's very uncommon in any other house. Mm -hmm. The reason why we can afford to do this is because everything turns into our, 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 our news red special burger. Oh. So, yes, so it's going to be from tip to tip. It's going to be like the carrot turkey of filet mignon with no fat. With the, without the fat, but it's going to be ribeye. Mm. Um, but yeah, he showed me all the cuts of the meat, explained them to me. Extremely thorough, amazing service. Honestly, recommended me a drink. When I was leaving, he rushed to open both of the doors for me. Even when I was entering inside, the hostesses opened both of the doors for me before, you know, like it's just, I don't know. I just thought it was just nice. The service was really great. Even when I was leaving, did he pull out my chair? I can't remember. I think he did, yeah. Honestly, it was just, it was really good service. I don't know if it, it was because I was alone, if the restaurant was not too busy, but I will be honest. I think because of the opening, the pulling out of the chair, the explanation, thorough explanation, and the showing me of the cuts of meat, and you know, how, where it's grilled, and oh, this is the chef, da da da. Like, because of that, and the opening of the doors, I will say that, um, and the recommendations and everything, I will say that it was one of the best services I've ever had. Honestly, I highly recommend it. I hope you have the same experience of me, but again, I mentioned the factors. I was by myself. This was a weekday night, you know what I mean? And I don't know. So those are the factors. Because I hate when, you know, somebody has a good experience at a restaurant and then you go and it's like, mm, what were they talking about? But I genuinely did have a great experience. And I hope that if you go, you do. I have to go back there. But now, I'm here preparing to go home. I'm going home tomorrow, just for a few days, and I have to get laser. So I don't know if I told you guys my laser schedule, but I'm getting, I do some laser here, and then I was already had my sessions that I was doing in Georgia. So that's what I'm going back. One of the reasons I'm going back, obviously, to see family, but to see my family, but also the laser. Um, I'm excited for that, and I'm excited to make that video. The results, especially on my armpits, wow, wow. Because, listen, you know, I grow hair, like, you know, on my body, I grow hair, so the result, yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna let y'all just wait for that video. That video, yeah. Anyways, um, right now I'm chilling. 
I'm probably gonna I was gonna say I would edit but I probably am gonna watch some more you and then relax sleep wake up early tomorrow maybe before work I'll do some editing or maybe I'll do some editing tonight I don't know I don't know but definitely gotta figure that out and put together what I'm taking home Should probably really not much really for me but yeah oh goodness all right well I'll see you guys bye rise and shine sweetheart it's a new day <laughs> well it's evening now okay so basically I actually need to put a pet in my stick okay because though I'm not moving but I'm about to go home for a little bit um so I'm headed to the airport uh and y'all know I gotta do my laser when I get home too I think I told you guys about that yesterday but anyways I am I have everything ready I gotta call the uber and let me come to where the lights where there's actually light to call the uber my face is super shiny because I put a, like a lot of moisturizing stuff and sunscreen I gotta show you guys the sunscreen I got thanks thanks to tiktok Ugh, couldn't get my words out it's really good it's really good but yeah, I'm, I'm for the head out. <laughs> I'm out of here. Out of here for a little bit. Just a little bit. And then we're going to be back. Okay, back in action. But let's go ahead and get on our way. Oh, let me, oh, let me get everything together. Because Uber is literally... Uber is almost here already. Okay. It says it's literally one minute away. So... One minute away, gotta put up in. Oh, I wanna put stuff in the trash beforehand. Okay. Oh, I just wanna drink. I'm gonna take my water with me. Take this one with me, throw it away. Here. here okay i got my oh now i gotta put my i put my ipad in the bag mm, and i want to change my flip flops okay. sorry guys I'm giving hectic okay i just want to put no, this is really wrong though. I really gotta. I gotta quicken my pace. I'm still having to throw something away. Okay. Can I put the water in here? Oh, yes, I can. Great. Okay. Airphones. Ooh, backpack is a little heavy now. Uh oh, now he's leaving soon. Okay, come on. Let's, all right, really. Gotta head out. Gotta get out of here. Gotta scram. Gotta scram. All right, guys. Let's go. The light. Ooh, in the dark.